Hey traders and investors, it's George Berger here. One of the things we do a lot in the Study Trader uh, real time trade and analysis alert service is to look at things not just in absolute terms, but also in relative terms. And I think in markets, it's very, very important. So today I want to look at showing you that you can look at charts and overlaying multiple assets on one chart. This is this might be very straightforward to some of you, but I think the, the, the trick is in how you actually analyze that. You can also use ratio charts and things like that and spread charts, which you use a lot in the Study Trader Trade Alert Service. Um, um, that's going to be a topic for another another video, but let's quickly look at this and we're going to look at JP Morgan, which of course had earnings this week versus the ETF, the XLF. This is just the JP Morgan uh, stock. You're not going to be able to do a lot of technical analysis on this line chart, but if we now insert uh, another symbol and we're just going to add the XLF and we're going to uh, use also a line chart and actually overlay it. Let me quickly make a different color here. So here you can see JP Morgan in blue, in um, in red actually, and the XLF in blue. And of course, you can see them. The market movement here more or less is just about the same. That's not very surprising. What if ha what happens if we change one of these stocks to so say it's something like a Wells Fargo? Okay, also not very surprisingly, you should see a very high correlation. Again, that's a major stock uh, in one of these, in, in, in this um, in this ETF. Uh, you can go through and add some others that may not be as heavily weighted in this. Uh, maybe you can add a Goldman Sachs. You can add another financial. Maybe you add something that's sort of a quasi-financial, like a, um, Verizon, a, a Visa or something like that. And as you do this, as you work through, you can start to see some stocks um, that might be, uh, that might be more or less correlated with the overall market. And if you see something that's literally gone the opposite way, then that might be something that's showing you relative strength or relative weakness. And uh, and that might be a stock that you can actually uh, take advantage of that relative strength or relative weakness. So uh, again, this is a very, very, very clean point. But I think a lot of people just use these charts um, and kind of look at it more as a picture than anything else and for trends and stuff like that. The point more is look at the relative uh, the relative picture. Again, if you, you go back to JP Morgan, you can see the correlation here is is, is very, very high. In other words, um, uh, in other words, if the XLF goes up, uh, JP Morgan goes up and vice versa. So not a stock that necessarily has a great historic tendency to go the opposite way. Um, and that's, uh, so, so what you want to do is, is work your way through as, as a morning routine. It's one of the things we do definitely every morning is go through and kind of work through single name stocks compared to ETFs and see if anything sticks out like a sore thumb, because that's usually where there's a trading opportunity to be had. Hope this makes sense guys. As always got any questions, please let me know and I'll see you in the next video.